Alrighty, guys. Alright. Where's where's my camera? Now, hold on. There we go. It's time. You know, I feel time. like like I've prefaced uh, every run today with, like, this one's really important to me. But, like, I mean it every single time, you know? I, I do. But, uh, this one and all the other ones. But this one is uh, extra special close to my heart. Mine too. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, you all know what it is. It's Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So done by the one, the only. Stop and Fritz. What up, oh, man? Some of you I guess guys I can't get my I can't get my camera working on Discord because it's the same one as stream. Right, but, um, right. I, yeah. I'm looking forward to this, my guys. And oh yeah, thanks so much for having me back. Like this is. I was just gonna say to have you. Uh, I I. I I'm gonna go out and say, and people have backed me up on this, that uh, I think your run of this same category at the original Arm With Their Speed three years ago, I believe, was uh, was the standout run, the fan favorite. It was, wasn't uh, that your was that your PB? That that was my marathon run PB, still yeah. to date. Yeah. Uh, but I, I kind of screwed myself over this time by making the estimate three hours, which means I effectively got to get really close to a PB or I'm going to delay the schedule a bit more. We'll be fine. Oh, that's good. We'll, be fine. <laughs> we'll make it work. We'll make yeah, it but work. no, it's, it's going to be awesome. I got some new stuff to show. Uh, people have been really pushing the envelope with this category quite a bit. So, oh, And yeah. they've, you know, there's a, uh, on PC, there's a gummy skip mod. So, you know, they, they've been doing it on there. So, like, the with a load remover as well but i still got some unfinished business on ps4 so that's what i'm doing oh yeah all right ready to get started yeah all right do it let's do all right here we go how's it going folks if you don't know me, my name is Fritz. Stop and Fritz, or on Discord, I am Fritzy Boo. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to running this game again. Critical mode on on this category, or on this game, is just so super fun. Let's get right into it in three, two, one, go. All right, we're. Already starting off late. We have about... Let's do some... Let's start with a chat prediction. I'm going to get somewhere in between 15 min, 1540 and 16 minutes in this Roxas section. Whoever wins the prediction gets 10,000 points. Uh, we start out by choosing this offensive category because that raises our offense. That's good. There actually is an RNG manipulation in the beginning. From the base starting value of RNG, we got uh, we got Setzer here, which we want to react in a very particular way. I'm going to knock him along the barrier here. Two and three, and then we are good. So what that did, this is pretty much the only... There are some manipulations in the run, but the only thing that is strictly RNG manipulation is just to get this dusk to kill us really quickly. We have... Uh, there are numerous fights that we don't have to win in order to proceed. And in critical mode, you take hella damage. So we manipulate that guy to do that attack and boom, the fight is over. Uh, a very common theme for this game is you only want to do finishers when it'll kill the enemy. So there I have to do a 2-1-3 attack. We have a 3-hit combo, and that's what... That's how it's gonna go uh, until we have, like, some modifications. Um, who's ready for Tony Hawk? Gotta turn the volume up a little bit. Um, so in order to proceed the game, we have to do one of these jobs. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. So I always jump right before I deliver this mail in a set order because it otherwise I'm stuck in an animation.
Any other predictions for the first 16 minutes? 1540 to 16 minutes is going to be my estimate for that. And also, thank goodness for cutscene skips, right? Okay. This upcoming dusk... By the way, is my audio okay? When you have the struggle bat, you can't hit him, so you have to have, like... 10 like, ghost hits. There we go. That should be good. Very good. We choose the shield here because with very few exceptions that, so that, that determines which abilities I gain throughout the run. And there's some defensive abilities that are really helpful. Oh, come on, that whiff. Okay, I'm seeing a 329, which is not the best, but when I'm talking, it's okay. Another fun thing about critical mode, if you haven't played it, you know, you know how you gain abilities as you level up? Well, in critical mode, you start with all those, and I put all of them on except for EXP zero or it's in, called no experience, which just means it's an ability that prevents you from gaining experience, which you would think, why would I equip that? Well, there are some sadists and masochists around there that like that, and there are speedruns about that category, <laughs> uh, or about equipping that, uh, like critical mode level one. There are a handful of runners doing that right now that I definitely recommend watching, uh, primarily KBM Studios, who is a character. All right, this fight here introduces us to uh, reaction commands. Thankfully, there's like not a specific timing to them. We can just mash it. And there's a pretty specific strat I have to do afterwards. Apologies for my voice. I have some, I have a cold or something. I'm gonna take those headphones off. Am I double voicing because of Discord chat? All right, so I want to get 13 hits on this guy. 13. Uh-oh. Okay, I got a little bit behind, that's okay. Gonna go to the tip of Donald's hat, jump here, do a four hit combo, run around, do another combo. Then I want to knock these guys away, so I do a time combo. One more combo, run away. Sneak in two more combos. Okay. Very good. 1550, that's... That's decent. <laughs> A little bit behind. Or 550, excuse me. We stop the... We split for... For the end of Roxas World when we kill the last Axel. I equipped guard there, and then we have some orb RNG. I call this the sawed-off shotgun because there's a big spread. Oh, there's an orb way behind me. And there's a set strat for me. Uh-oh. I gotta hit, get hit him one more time. Okay, that was a bit slow. Thankfully, VV, who's next, is a little bit easier. We take an intentional hit, which is okay. So I'm gonna do two hits, then a four hit combo. Do the same thing. Hit him once, and then do another four hit combo. I gotta still give him one more love tap. These guys are not being friendly with me today. Oh, yeah, for, for having draw. I, I, that's why I can't run beginner, Iba. 
Okay, I have three dust here. I'm gonna uh, do this reaction command and just give him some love taps. If I can hit multiple at once, and that's ideal. Doesn't look like that's happening. Oh, this guy is giving me trouble. All right, we have Axel here. I just gotta do six combos on him. So I'm gonna run to the right. Uh oh. Okay, this is not going well. All right. Both times in this marathon, Axel has been a prick to me. I ran a bit too far to the right. Okay, who's ready for the true final fantasy fight? It's, it's an RPG, so I hit you, you hit me. I hit you, you hit me. It's only fair this is an RPG, right? Okay, thankfully he didn't move away. You want to lose that fight because it gives you a strength up item, which makes a difference. We're going to have that on for the entirety of the run. I wish you can like, there's a mod where you can just press a button and and go to right to a skateboard with Roxas in any location. Because it, it's a night and day difference in movement. All right, so that was a brief menu there. Axel gave me scan so I, I can now see enemy health. I also equipped that metal, which increases my strength by one. And then I turned off summon animations, which thankfully you can do in this game, but not in KH1. All right, we gotta dodge these balls. Yes, I said dodge these balls. All three of them, just like my three balls. And now let's see where Hainer is. Where is Hainer? There he is. He's a ghost. Okay, so it's this fight here that makes or breaks this split. We just have VV clones. They all take one hit, but they can be pricks. I'm gonna move to the left here. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. All right, bit of spaghetti. <laughs> so for those of you who are curious, my PB is two, two fifty nine. 28. It's my only sub 3 run. And this category is really punishing because if you die so easily, which you do die so easily, you lose like, you can lose minutes. Uh, this fight here, I want to get Shadow Roxas in the corner. He's gonna attack. No! Okay. I wanted to get one more air combo, but keep, keeping him in the corner is a bit tough there. The world record is. 247 low because I mean uh oh okay good not only have people really optimized strats and, and risky stuff but they've just really pushed the envelope of the category I haven't been able to get a PB in about three years be crazy if I did here here it's the rodeo minigame. We just mashed triangle. Oh, marathon, marathon. Yeah, I went, I, I went knock and futz during that. I had, I my. I'm a, uh, one of my, uh, one of the features of my stream is having a heart rate monitor and going into the final fight gauntlet, my heart rate was 170 BPM. That's one of my problems. It's, it's nerves. <laughs> All right, we'll see where we are here. I'm going to be a little bit behind my PB pace, but that's not a big deal.
Yeah, I remember like the chat was popping off, which was awesome. That was a really great run, and I'm just looking forward to smashing that PB because I have so much time to save. Okay, we're about 13 seconds behind my PB pace, which is not a big deal. I could still get around a 16. So it was really important that I killed those creepers during that fight, because I need to get to a level 3 by the end of this world. Which means I don't have to do any extra credit uh, kills. Gotta kill these two dust, then an assassin spawns, I gotta just dodge him. Thankfully, they all die to a 2-2-3. Two, two, Most of the time, air combos are a lot faster. Because they come out faster and they... Well, I guess the damage is probably the same. Ow! Be nice to have the skateboard here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to change my hat every world, by the way. I might have it in my voice for one song. Well, actually, I'll do one Disney song and one surprise song. DMCA could go fuck itself. I'm singing. I get that potion. I need to fill up my inventory. Uh, we got two fights to go as Roxas. Thankfully, we're going to Sora very soon. We have a fight in the basement here. Free Fallen. So we start with four Dusk, and I need to kill three of them before two Assassins spawn. So I try to keep them together like this. See, so I like, whoa, that's... Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, this is slow. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was bad. So I wanted to, like, hit one of the assassins to, uh, prevent him from going underground. We're getting, like, a 1605, so I lied. Come here. I'll make it all stop. Like, they spawn before they go underground, and I wanted to prevent them from going underground. Axel here, he's easy. We just m mash X until he goes away. And we go to the middle, do this reaction command. Let me go right into a finisher by pressing square with this double keyblade form, then mash X until he goes away. Burn, baby, burn, da da. Uh, folks, is my audio okay? Because I don't have it in. So the, even though I'm still Roxas, we like, as a community, mark the end of the Roxas world at the end of that fight. Wait, what's up, kitty? Uh, so right here we got a menu. RPG menus. All right, so I changed Donald's and Goofy's. It's weird calling their patterns AI these days, but you know, I changed the way they behave to attack enemies that I'm not attacking. I removed their potion, their items, and made it so my items automatically re-equip outside of battle. Um, here I don't have to win this fight, so I'm gonna give this guy a love tap. He's gonna attack me, and I just need one more to attack me. Oh, I need one more attack, come on. There we go.
I lost like 10 seconds of that in my PB because I just weren't. I think Donald was going ham and they were. They just couldn't attack me. They, you know, they take a while to attack as they have a long wind up. Look at Pete twerking. This fight, I do not have to win either. But shadows are the worst enemies in the game. So I just gotta make this an RPG fight. I hit you, you hit me. Okay, that was good. Three hits there. Um, so, I, with one exception, I only buy ethers because my magic is a really important resource in this game. I have potions to heal myself, but I take those potions from my party members. Right. Um, these two fights, you only want to do some love taps. Oh, Donald going ham! Already in the fast, the second phase. Yep, yeah, that's that's why we hate shadows. Don't you? Okay. <laughs> okay, for a fight being only shadows, that was actually okay. Because like, if they just choose to go underground, you can't hurt them, and. You, you can just go take a shit before they come up. Uh, this fight has some RNG, but it's important. I want to do three empty hits on this soldier to bait out his reaction command, Cyclone. And we'll see if he does that. Okay, well, he gave it to me, but I still... Oh, I got a lot of cleanup to do. Okay, now four soldiers spawn. I want to do the same thing. Ideally there, I get a Cyclone of three soldiers. I got two of them in there. Or a Cyclone that kills three. I got one that kills two. I don't need to kill that soldier, but I kill it for EXP reasons and hopefully to gain some money. This is for Big Yen Sid, Big Disney backwards. Um, we're just about to get into, like, the normal Sora costume with his abilities and his magic. <laughs> so, tell me, folks, I... I haven't... I've been pretty busy, so I wasn't able to check out most of the events so far. So tell me, what's... What's your favorite run of this iteration of Arm With Your Speed been? Favorite run so far. Right. Just so you know, we have Valor form now, which is going to be an early, early game form of fast movement. This fight, we don't have to win, but we're going to. Uh, I'm going to run back and do this reversal go into an early fin oh boy okay that was that was a bit dicey there I want to get hits there because valor form levels up just by dealing hits to enemies I got hit uh, out of my finisher which really hurt there and I wanted to get a bunch of hits so I had to readjust thankfully it went okay Right. God of War seemed really cool, especially, was that a, a mod for the, uh, like, the character model? Or was that, like, an in-game thing? Okay, uh, I'm gonna focus now. We have a really, really hard fight here, Bailey. I only have Keyblade hits and Blizzard. So I gotta kill all these Dusk first. Oh, and this guy, he's... I gotta get him done. I want to get all these Dusk in the corner so I can Blizzard them.
You can request it. Under the sea. Uh, I will strongly consider that then. I didn't know another one was happening. I know that one was in November. Okay. So I only kill those enemies. You don't want to get too many um, points in this gummy mission because there actually is a time save despite it being an auto scroller. Yeah, I saw that. So congrats, dude. Oh, it's in the summer? Fuck. Wait, no, I'll still be in school. Uh, wait, it's the end of the school year. I might be able to work something out. Right, yeah, the bill. I'm just talking about the gummy missions. Iba. All right. I'm doing this tutorial menu to prevent a longer tutorial menu from happening later in the game. I'm gonna grab this ether. Go into Valor for movement. I'm gonna buy a fire bang. I don't have enough money for a fire bangle. I Someone needs to remind me to buy it later. Okay, worst fight in the game here. Let's see. Is Mulan gonna run forward? No, you aren't. I need to kill all these shadows. That was so slow. Okay, this is a problem with my Valor level. Usually I have more. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately kill these two. I have three missions I need to immediately kill these two uh, things. Okay, I got Valor level two, which is good. Okay, I got a bunch of shadows now. I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna switch out Goofy for Donald, do some do some fires. Thankfully, fire is a nice AOE attack. All right. <laughs> I am not that ballsy yet, Iva. I know, like, I could do it, but I don't. Look, like, anytime I get hit in Hades Escape, I take a death. Or I take a potion, excuse me. All right, these guys are gonna wait for them to spawn, do some fires. I wanna kill this. I got three um, night walkers. Nice. Okay. Okay. Be, be, just being careful here. Okay, that fight went really well. Usually that can be a lot of uh, spaghetti. All right. Missions are going actually going pretty well. Okay, here, the enemies spawn in a set pattern with the set locations. Oh, darn. Please. Okay. Thankfully that one came to me. I'm gonna go over here to the left. And you see how I, I'm back up to three drive? That was really important. Up oh, here's one over here. Please don't. Okay. One more before the... Darn. That was gonna be nice if they... Bringing Goofy back into the party. There's a Nightwalker here. I'm gonna do a combo on him. Explode into Valor. And kill the last two. All right, who's ready for a nice YOLO strat? We're climbing up a mountain. So this first phase, I'm gonna do a really quick double finisher. If it worked. Okay, here's my YOLO strat. They're gonna spawn. 
and I just go. That saves a good six seconds from killing the enemies. <laughs> We're going from the mountain to the cave, to the cave. And you see, it's nice that I have Valor here still, so I can move there more quickly. Do a little attack there for some optimization. So we got this Assault Rider and a bunch of shadows. We got to kill the Assault Rider first. So I do a 4-2-4. Four, four. Now the shadows are here. We just got to use fires on them. Now more are going to spawn. I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh, this is nice. Holy cow, this is nice. Gotta bait out attacks from them. Alright, I need a baited out attack from you. Oh, he did the long and annoying pattern. That was a really good fight, though. Did Ping eat something? Did, like, Ping eat an attack? I, I missed it. I want to... I want to uh, compare that to my gold. That was really good. The only thing that wasted time was the, the Assault Rider doing a little helicopter attack. By the way, folks, um... I pre really appreciate Iba... IBA all day from the community being here. Longtime buddy who's also doing a... Smattering of other games, are you playing uh, Destiny 2? Is that it? Is that right, Iba? But also a very friendly individual. Please follow them. This fight is timed. Can't do anything about it. I, I, I need some EXP. Okay. The reaction command's are really helpful here. I need to see 1, 2, 6 or lower on my EXP. Come on. I'm gonna heal. Oh, yes. That's a good RC. Uh oh. Oh, yes. Oh, no. This is good. I got some good RCs there. Okay, I'm good on EXP for now. Yes, please. Please follow Iba. Okay, got a menu here. I gotta buy the thing. Light. Okay, I would have equipped a fire bangle there, but I did not have enough money. So I'm gonna buy that along the way and equip it later. Uh, since we have some nice load times, we... To get to the end of the of the world, we have some save warps. Hey, TC! Run's going okay! Oh, you, oh do a lingering well strength. Okay, new lingering well strength. I'd love to see that. So we actually equipped fire boost onto, not ping, Mulan now. Because that helps with the limit, uh, Mulan's limit here. So after I kill these enemies, I'm going to get to level 10, which is a strength increase, which is very important here. We use Mushu and just mash triangle. Then they, hopefully they die if I got some good patterns. Oh, okay, good. Fair, barely. All right, we have a really fun strat against uh, Shen Yu. Shen who? Shen Yu. Do some nice movement up the stairs for a little swagger optimization. All right, so there's a nice little cinematic RC here that I'm going to use. Reaction command. Uh, I'm going to run up to him and attack. I'm going to clank and we go into a little cinematic. So I'm going to give him a little love tap there and do a full combo here. Then give him 
Mash Menu's last phase. That bird was going to attack. I have to uh, dodge him. Do it, go right into another. Then do a combo to finish him off with little helicopter. Bang. That was a flawless fight. Am I ahead of PB? I think I am. That was very clean. That was a flawless fight. Sometimes the bird comes and, and swipes me there. The bird is the word. All right, another gummy mission coming up. This one's actually kind of tough. Well, I mean, I mean, it's not tough, but like you can't just like take you can't half-ass it. Like, you actually have to attack stuff at different times. Encourage everyone to hydrate. Um... So, for those of you who don't know, at the... At the expense of doxing myself, but you all, you're, you're, I'm sure everyone knows that. I'm a teacher, so I don't stream a lot during the week. Uh, I've definitely streamed more on the weekends because I've finally like have a, had a new reinvigorated motivation to get a PB. Uh, I had a run die yesterday to Light Cycle, which is the most annoying place to die. It's like a two-minute auto-scroller. Uh, but I've, I've, I've smelt a, a PB in the way you, you smell disgusting body odor in the locker room. Uh, but once I, once I saw that our boys, Marathon and Weedy, were doing another uh, iteration of this, I'm like, okay, yes, I'm doing that. Like, no questions asked. I forget exactly how we met. But it just seems like we're just longtime buddies. Like, we're just one of the boys now, you know? Makes me feel feel really good. I haven't done a, uh, you know, a ch uh, an event run of this since I started student teaching. I, I remember, wasn't the first arm with their speed in, like, summer of 21? And then it was like the fall of 21 when I, in August of 21, was my last marathon attempt. Man, as time flied. But like, I'm finally getting to the point in my career where, like, I can... Where I, I have more time on my hands. Like, you know, I'm good. I'm feeling good about, about that. Those were really good ass times, and and I uh, yeah, uh, I was right before a zombie smasher. Who, uh, I believe he's still in chat. I was right after him. <laughs> But didn't he say like some people cry at funerals? I I cut off heads or something. What did he say? Uh oh. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, there you are. I'm gonna put some other clothes on real quick. Getting a little chilly down here. I'm not sure why. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm not sure why I get, sometimes I get really cold. It might be a anemia thing. Some people fuck at funerals. <laughs> Do people fuck at funerals though? I mean, I usually, it's not uncommon to, to be hitting on the deceased person's spouse, but. <laughs> okay, if you are unfamiliar with this speed run, then you're in for, uh, you're in for something to see, because upcoming is the 
the earliest big run killer, which we call Hades, Hades Escape, where we have four phases or waves of enemies to kill while Hades is trying to attack us and Hades is invulnerable. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, I just saw lightning outside and it's it's raining here. I'm, I'm in on the east coast and we're dealing with some rain. I hope that doesn't affect this this attempt my my internet connection. I need to put the fire bangle on. I mean, we mainly have that for this fight because it uh it allows me to be able to tank another hit from Hades. It's usually two or three hits and I'm dead here. Slide dash for some movement. Yeah. All right, there's a little pre-fight here to sort of introduce the idea that Hades is invulnerable. Thankfully, we can just, it just counts the hits. We can use fire to, against Hades. Who would have thought just to progress that? Uh, there. All right, brief menu, and here we go. I'm gonna run, we wanna use this bat cry for these hook bat. They have a really good reaction command, which we wanna use a lot of. No, oh, I'm... So, I didn't get me the... Ow. So I was hoping that would've, uh... Oh. That, that, that would've moved towards the shadows. It didn't. Not a big deal, though. Okay. So I'm gonna guard these guys and just use some fires. We're gonna see what Hades is gonna do. Okay, he hit me, so I'm going into Orin's limit. Okay, I think we're good on this phase. Yep. Uh, I only have one more potion. That's a problem. Okay, last phase. I'm gonna hit this hook bat. Use the reaction command. Use it again. Oh, Orin killed the large body. Okay, we're good. I have never seen... <laughs> That's never happened where Orin has killed the big ass enemy there. See how he was in his last phase? He was gonna dive at me. Okay, gonna take a breath. We made it through Hades Escape, folks. I ran out of potions, so that was gonna be a problem. Like I was, I was iffy. Like the only way that could have gone better, there was two ways. One, if I didn't get hit and I just was able to fire the, the enemies in the second platform. And then if like the enemies weren't all spread out at the end, I could use Batcry, which does a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, Orn, Orn came in clutch there. All right, now we got Cerberus, and I'm gonna no damage this fight. It's, let me just show you. Oh shit! Hang on, hang on. All right, death number one. I'm just kidding. Um, so it's a lot, a lot, a lot faster to use Mickey here. His damage is usually sc is scaled really high in the early game. That pearl does so much. Okay, I'm about to get my MP back. Okay. Yeah, gotta restart. I, lo I lost like 15 seconds to here in my PB. I forget why though. There we go. Everest is down. Yes, so the first fight where Mickey is able to appear, when if you die, he has a 100% chance. The odds decrease 
every after every use of Mickey. Uh, I forget what those numbers or I'm I don't I haven't forgot. I am not I don't know what those numbers are though. Since it is completely deterministic there for the first one, we just use it. Alright. Now for story reasons we weren't able to use drive, and now we're able to. Uh, we go right into Valor for Movement. Here we got some more orbs, folks. Right, yeah, it's crazy how, like, wait, I didn't know that. Gotta get 20 of these. Oh, that was good. Now I gotta get 100 here. Also, I'm gonna donate... How much did I donate per death? I just got paid. <laughs> That's nice. There we go. Okay, having 70 there is good. That's what I need. Waiting for the last spawn. This, These guys here have 10 in each. That's good. Exactly. That's a good point, Majora. Yeah. Well, uh... There's definitely... Uh, an inverse relationship, but Antiform has a lot of different rules to it. <laughs> Mickey's wanted for crimes. Tell me more. Yeah. Did he include Goofy? Oh, I shall. I'll cut a bitch. Oh, I have a really funny video, Iba, where I accidentally went into Mickey in, uh,. Armored Zemnus 1, and as soon as I got back into Sora, the spears killed me, and I, like, had no time. So there, I got a power boost, which permanently increases strength. I equipped, I used that, then equipped a few abilities, one aerial dive, which is nice, which is, like, where I, I jump in the air to start a combo. And now we got, we got we're gonna fight Demi Lovato. There is no cutscene here. I keep going. Jump up there. Time save. Um, so here we just have water clones to beat. So I'm going to be using this RC a handful of times in addition to fire. And that's it. Oh, that's bad. Let's fill those. Oh, we got the next one. Come on. Okay, now we'll do it. That was a pretty good fight. Geneva Convention lost. Okay, this is another tough fight here. We have one that's timed, even though there's no timer on the screen. And then there's one that is not timed, even though there is a timer on the screen. <laughs> Keyblade dab. Indecent expo. Oh, are you talking about everything Mickey has done on Family Guy? Okay, what are you gonna do, Pete? I'm gonna do two combos on Pete. He's gonna retaliate. Yep. And he's gonna spawn some soldiers. I wanna kill those soldiers. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Oh. Darn. Are you gonna... So I want him to spawn more enemies, and if I killed him... If I killed that soldier during his retaliation, then he would have spawned them. Let's see, are you gonna call your guys now? Yeah. Okay, got one extra credit. Yeah, one extra credit here. Oh, we got a donation. Hey, Zoim! Here, I'm gonna do a slide dash. Yeah, right. 
He went into his pinball. Fuck you. No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. Okay. This is bad. It is a mess. Okay. That was a really rough fight. The usually, uh, he gave me bad RNG and I'm not really good at addressing it. Oh, uh, not out of the woods yet. We got Hydra here. I'm going to heal Donald because he might get hit and go into Trinity. We used Trinity three times here. We just got Trinity from Pete. So this knocks him into his second phase. I knew I wasn't going to die there. It's okay. Going to use I got to get on his back and do this RC. I got to kill each head now. And I want to get some orbs to heal. Come on. Come on. The combo's dropping. I don't like that. All right, so they did some damage to them, to that one, which helped a little bit. I want to get some orbs here. Good. Going right back into Trinity. Doing the second thing here. It's gonna help. That did some good damage. Now I just gotta wait for my MP to come back. There we go. I could have. Please die. Okay, good. There's there are ways to whoa to beat him without uh, using Trinity a third time. Oh, you do a, a step back first. I didn't know that. So I'm about 10, 15 seconds behind PB right now, and my um. My Hades escape in PB was like two seconds off gold. Yep, thankfully I pressed triangle before that. Hang on. Um, if you guys want to see some lore, Sora's gonna give birth in a minute. It's free fallen. Excuse me? And it's a boy. That fight we don't need to beat, so we just do that. This introduces Winnie the uh, Hundred Acre Wood, which we don't do out after this. It also gives us Chicken Little, which is a very important summon. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm really bad at Hydra Quick Kill, but um, with Pete being that bad, that's a pretty good OC. Alright. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna start with my surprise song. Because... It's customary to sing songs during the gummy mission. I'm losing my voice. I say I don't care. Yo, 
Gonna do, um, shoutouts to Unplugged. Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be, as a friend, as a friend, as a known enemy. Take your time, hurry up, the choice is yours, don't be late. As a friend, as a friend, as a known enemy, a memory, a memory, a memory. A Hey. Yep. Hey, Dan. Come here. Danny's here. Hey, Dan. Come here. Look. You can see you're, you're right there. Hey. Come here. Giving people a thumb. Give everyone. Come over here. Come over here. Come sit on my, sit on my lap. Come sit on my lap. You give everyone a thumbs up. Hey. All right. Hey. All right. So, now say peace. Hey. Say it louder. Peace. Hey. All right, I need you to go upstairs, okay? Eh. Okay, bye. Bye. Can you go upstairs now? Eh. Okay. Bye. Mm. Danny came to say hi. Eh. Peace, dude. Mm. All right. Your marathon luck achieved. That's my brother, Danny. All right, got through one verse, but then we had the surpri a surprise guest. Audio back because we um that fight we just went into Trinity to do a thing just to end the fight and we went into Valor for for movement. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Folks are they forgot that I was doing this. All right, we gotta push a wardrobe. But enough about last night. I don't know, it's in innuendo. Okay, sweet. It takes three pushes to do this. Um, uh, you know, we got Zoyman chat. Feel free to chime in whenever you'd like. So I'm a very, uh, very prolific and smart uh, community member. Also very friendly individual. Uh, here I'm gonna do a slide dash and then go to Chicken Little. Ow. Uh, let me heal. Walk of shame. This is a bit slow. Yes, you are, Zoimi Boo. Peace, dude. And he's going to a party. All right. Okay, Dan, you're gonna go to a party? Excuse me, folks. You're going to. Is this 
You're going to your party? Okay. You're gonna go upstairs now? Peace, dude. Bye. 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 You gotta go upstairs now, okay? Can you go upstairs with B? Okay. Bye. Let's go. Come on, let's go upstairs. Sorry about that. My brother sometimes fixates on a couple of things. I need to give him a proper goodbye. Yeah, he's gonna have fun. Uh, here with Beast, we just need to use that reaction command. Do three hits into Valor, then go into the finisher. How dare I be a good person. I'll take the 10 second time loss for my brother any day. Got a brief menu here. This beast is in our party now. Gonna... Well, three's fine. That is the wrong place. We got a two fight boss gauntlet. Sorry for the scattered commentary. I'm feeling a bit scattered brained right now. Um, I'm gonna run back here to make sure he does the attack I want him to do. He goes underground, I just jump to avoid that attack. He's gonna go up into the chandelier. I'm gonna jump and just do some empty hits on him. Do a full air combo. And he's gonna go from the window to the window. And I can just kill him before that. Thanks for the raid, IDS. <laughs> Next one, I'm going to do a quick finisher. He knocks me out. And then go into Beast Limit. I'm not gonna do the finisher to Beast Limit. Knock him up in the air. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, hi, Pachi. Thank, um, thanks for being here, Pachi. Folks, please follow Pachi713, who is really pushing the envelope, uh, really top tier runner. Hope you're doing well, Pachi. Thanks for being here. Uh, world record holder in um, beginner of PS4. Is that is that right? Give me strength. Yeah. I'm happy to shout you out, dude. Uh, all right. No, we have to push that mouse. Let me change my hat. Let's go to NES. Uh, so I'm gonna bring, we gotta bring Mini down this hallway. So the way we do that is by bringing Mini against the wall here and then just rubbing up along, along, along this mouse. But enough about last night. Uh, Minnie's gonna do an attack there. Oh, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. There we go. Get over there. There we go.
All right, so I need to get some EXP in this part of it. Uh, I need to see, I'm gonna gain a level in a little bit. Then after I gain that level, I need to see 526 or lower the next level. Cause that'll give me a, that'll make it so once I fight Pete, I have a very important strength boost. These guys give, I think, 54 EXP at once. Okay, I need to kill three more. Uh, just one more, I believe. Or, I think so. Oh, nope, one more from here. Okay. Would one of you die, please? There we go. Oh. Uh oh. This way. Let's go. That was funny. Lost a little bit of time there. I didn't want to die though. So there I put on the Sardonyx ring, which I got from the Beast Castle shop. That gives me some extra strength and I believe extra AP. Something else that stays on for the entirety of the run. Uh, okay, this we call Time Loss River, but I had I call it Time Save River because my PB is pretty bad in it. We first have to fight Old Pete just by doing some Valor hits on him into a finisher. I could have done it a bit faster, but I wanted to see if I can get to Valor level 3, which I did not, which is not a big deal. All right, 1 AP Pog. All right, and now we go to this fight, which I have 20 seconds to save to. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna s we use Chicken Little a lot here. Uh, he's gonna pull these guys in. I'm gonna use two fires and then two thunders. Do another fire to get rid of them. Then I just use four RCs in the air, and that's it. So. It's a... Before I knew I can just mash the RCs there, I just was not consistent with it. So if you don't get them killed in the air, then it just takes a lot more time. Whoops. Alright, with this I'm doing two fires into a finisher. Just gonna pull him back, do another fire. I'm gonna pull these guys in, which is nice. Chicken Little, he just effectively pulls enemies in a lot, which makes things really convenient. Okay, he's gonna... I want you to pull people in, please. Thank you. Uh-oh. Okay. That fight is always just a blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's a... Probably the most difficult fight for me in the world to go quickly. Using Chicken Little again. Just gonna pull these shadows, I hope. Really? Oh boy. Alright. So there's gonna be three cars I have to kill. So I need Chicken Little to really pull them in like I need him to. See how he whistles. Okay. Do something, please. Thank you. Okay, the last phase was okay, but that was just a... Like, I've, I've never had that issue with the first phase. Where are you? There you are. Okay. 
So you see at this final phase of this last window, I do Trinity and put it against the wall so I can just do the Trinity finisher really quickly. To, uh, do that. Yeah, um, hot rods are really tough, but thankfully Chicken Little helps with them. Okay, we have... We have two fights against Pete. One of them is what we call Boat Pete. Gotta do send those three boxes back at him. Then I gotta hang on to this for dear life and get some combos off onto this. We do two combos and then just some empty hits because an RC is gonna come up like that where I gotta make sure I do that or else I'll be knocked off. That's what I was looking for. I need that. Oh. Okay. Alright. I So, there's that. Uh, the last fight in this world is against actual Pete in every, like in every, uh, location in this world, like at every fighting location. There, it's, there's a lot of phases, uh, and I'm gonna try to commentate this because it's really fun, but it can go really well, or it can go really badly. I'm gonna do a combo there, one hit into a full combo. He's gonna retaliate, gonna wait a little bit, so now he goes into the next phase. Now we're back at the Hot Rod place. I'm gonna go into Trinity and do a square. That does a lot of Trinity hits on those fire bars, but it just does the finisher damage all on Pete, so that just goes into the next phase. Thank you. Um, next, I'm gonna do two combos. He's gonna retaliate. Wait a little bit until he's vulnerable during his retaliation, just do an air combo there. I'm gonna do the same thing again in the next phase. Uh, I don't want him to get knocked over. There we go. Okay, last phase. I'm gonna... get two hits on him. He's gonna knock me in the air. Try to get two RCs off. And that was a perfect fight. Both times I've I've run this for arm with their speed, I've had a perfect P fight. And that's really difficult to do. For me. Um, uh, Master Time hits. F Sorry, for which fight, Zoim, are you talking? Mm hmm. Let's go. I'm going.
And we're gonna use Chicken Little quite a bit. One of the things I might need is Chicken Little to let uh, the Summon Gauge to level up, which allows more... Allows, like, the Summon Gauge to go from a total of three bars to a level total of four bars, which... You know, is definitely, uh... Allows for more safety. Uh... The gimmick of this world is that if pirates are not in the moonlight, if they are in the shade, then they do not take damage. And the, the other gimmick, if you want to call it, is that pirates are really vulnerable to magic. Unless I'm mistaken, you don't... At this point, we aren't even hitting... We aren't even hitting above the damage floor for magic damage, but we still use magic quite a bit against pirates here. That's how powerful it is. Uh, this is a fun fight. We got Chicken Little. He's going to pull these guys in. I'm going to do two fires. More people are going to spawn. He's going to pull them in again. Do two more fires. The final soldiers are going to spawn. He's going to pull them in. I'm going to do two fires and two thunders. Sometimes after the first one, they just die. Hey, Tank. Thanks, TC. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm going to jump over here. going to slide dash this guy for some time save go into Chicken Little's Limit to hopefully get some summon EXP. Going to three ethers because I'm bad and want to need, need a lot of magic. Risky, but I need it. We have this quick fight here um, where we should summon Chicken Little, do three blizzards and a thunder, and they're dead. Chicken Little is by far the someone that is used the most because he's really helpful in the early game when we uh, we don't have too many crowd control tools. Um, there is a timed fight right here against pirates and you see the, the shade and the, uh, the moonlight. Uh, I have to be aware of that. We use Chicken Little to pull them in. Also, I have to make keep track of if they're going to shoot me, we use Blizzard to kill them. Ow. Ow. Okay, there's level two that I need. There, okay, I saw all that there. I don't know how many I killed there. I know you... I think we want to kill 13, I believe. Someone, someone can double check me on that. Okay, here's where it gets really juicy here. There's four pirates I have to kill in this pre-fight. I'm going to use Chicken Little to call them in. Whoops. This is slow. <laughs> okay, um, now this is what we call boat fight. I am not the best at this. There's definitely people who are way, be way better at this. Um, I'm gonna pull these guys in, do four blizzards. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, death number one. I thought I stunned those guys. Let's go. Uh oh, there's a bomb right there. You're not dead yet. Yes, it does. Let's try this again. Come here. Oh, boy. 
That guy being knocked away is not good. Okay, that's good. Come here. Gotta pull, bring these guys up here. You're gonna pull them. That was rough. I don't know how much time I lost there, but it was a good bit. So the goal is to keep all the pirates together so you can uh, do Blizzard on all of them at once. I had a lot of issue with that, but at my level of play, that just happens. I've, I feel like that's the sort of thing, you know, like people do offer co uh, coaching for, for your skills and for your runs. That's something I could use some targeted coaching on. That fights the coin flip, and I just beat it. Just gotta get those five barrels. Uh, we're gonna go into Valor for movement and for... and for the first part of... Barbosa. Okay, so there's gonna be like this lantern enemy that I have to kill to make Barbosa spawn. And he spawns randomly. There he is. Or oh, we need the, the lanterns it's random. So I'm gonna do a quick combo on him. Revert and reflect. And now I just, whoops, I just freeze him. Do, do do two or three air combos and rinse for Pete. And that's it. It just like cheeses. Not doesn't cheese, but it just solves the fight. Yeah, I mean I've watched Slick's video on that, um, and I've just I, I'm just not consistent with it. All right, we made it past that. Well, I'm glad I didn't die to Barbosa. We I don't know how much time I lost um to that, but. We're still in there. Going to Agraba next. We're approaching the halfway point. Hope you all have enjoyed yourself so far. That's one of the one of the things I enjoy about running this game is that when people don't really know the depth of your options and how fun and interesting the strats can be, um, it I feel like it gives you a newfound love and approach for the game. So hope, hopefully you've had fun so far. And just to be clear, I am nowhere near a top tier runner of this the, the let me just put it this way the world record is better than my sum of best yeah exactly and it's around here where like we're starting to really build things in our toolkit
Uh, there's a boss ship here that we have to take seriously. When I was learning this category, I died here once in one of my early runs, and I'm like, and I just kind of, <laughs> kind of looked at the screen as if the screen just farted at me. Like, wait, that can happen? This attack, you gotta stay in the middle. There you go. Like, it attacks all around the screen, but in the middle. Okay. So... We're... The... One of the main goals in Agrabah is to level up Wisdom Form along the way. Because Wisdom Form has this ability called Quick Run, which increases our... which, using it, increases our movement abilities. Because uh, we want to get it on base Sora. There's some fun strats uh, about, about doing that. Uh, this fight we don't have to win, so we just give this bandit... I think it's just called a bandit? I forget. A little love tap. Thankfully, he gave me a good attack there. And then we got a nice big menu coming up here. Let's see. So I gotta... First, I gotta buy some ethers. Uh, I... Three money short of one more. Nice big menu here. If you like RPG menus, this is your time. Few mistakes, but that's okay. Happen, folks. Oh, come on. Oh, bro. Hope I'm dead again. <laughs> that one was more my fault. Oh, well. This is going swimmingly. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. That was really fucking funny. All right. Three deaths. <laughs> Thankfully, those are just quick ones. That was have not happened to me before. So the way you level up wisdom form is by getting uh by killing heartless and remember there are heartless and nobodies in this game, so it's not for nobodies, it's for heartless. Two quick deaths. Not gonna lie, those are both really fucking funny. Um, here we just have to escort Abu. You apparently can, like, kind of push him along. It doesn't... I don't know. Alright, an upcoming here is a really fun fight. There are... A variety of different ways of how people do uh, some of these things. Uh, we got four of these guys there. We're going to be using Reflect a lot, which is really nice. I just bait out an attack, Reflect. Oh, that was close. I usually try to jump to get to my terminal velocity more quickly. Uh, this fat bandit has two different attacks. That wasn't the one we want. It's okay. Air combo. RC and full air combo. Here we got uh, some fire dudes in a fat bandit. So I do a blizzard, reflect into blizzard, do it again. Really? Okay, so now, there we are. There's gonna be two sorcerers, I believe, here, and I'm gonna kill them both really quickly. So I'm gonna. Kill this guy, come down, reflect and go right into Trinity, and that kills him. I love that. 
Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna go into wisdom form for movement there. I'm gonna be uh, getting wisdom level from level one to level three in this fight. So I start by jumping up and reflecting these guys. Oh. Okay. So I revert. Now I want to reflect and use fire. That gets my drive back right away. And I'm just going to be using some reflects just on all of these guys. They kind of do a little herky jerky movement when they're about to attack. There's wisdom level three. Uh, so these fat bandits now spawn. I messed up the menu there. I almost died. Three fat bandits spawn. I got to reflect into Trinity. Um, I might not have. Okay, we were good. That was close. All right, last fight of the game coming up. I'm going to do a menu here. We, I got quick run now. Whoops. So I unequipped Donald's cure because I want Donald to die here. Um, can someone explain why I want Donald to die? Like Zoim or if Paji, Zoim or Paji, can you explain that please? Or Iba? There we go. Uh oh. So these guys have a lot of HP gates, and I want to where really they break apart. So I just gotta break them apart, and then kill these guys that they spawn. All right, that was an okay fight. Yeah, so... Basically, I use... Uh, I I use final... Um, <laughs> final. Wisdom form one extra time there, which... The way the routing works, it gives uh, a 20% chance of getting to anti-form in the next boss fight of Thr Thresholder. Or not Thresholder, excuse me. Prison Keeper. And... If Donald's dead, if one of your party members is dead, it does not increase that probability. Right. Uh, I don't know where I am related to my PB, but definitely not great. Boat fight death was a, was a while, then I lost like a good bit of time to... Uh, Back to the early Agrabah. Yes. Thank you for that. I don't know what the exact numbers are. I just am like, oh, if I if I use it here, I have a twenty percent chance. But with Donald dying there, it avoids that. Shoutouts to guitar solos too. Yeah, Majora, there's a very strict, you know, set of rules. Not strict, but, like, elaborate set of rules. Like, for instance, every time you get a new form, your anti-points get reset to zero. It's funny, the first time I did the fast wisdom grind. I didn't know that, so I went anti-form versus prison keeper, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know why. Really funny. Right. You know, like, for instance, with, um, like, a force party member, he means, like, for instance, if you, like, versus Barbosa, Jack is a force party member. Like, you can't go... If I had the chance, I wouldn't go anti-form there.
are you swiping the type? All right, there are only three fights in this Halloween town. Um, but they all can go from okay to bad pretty quickly. Right. Yeah, it's a very elaborate rule set, but it's nice that we know we know it down to a science, so we can route things accordingly. Thank you for the explanations, folks. Okay, so now you see I have Quick Run, which is a really important to uh, go fast in movement. Yeah. I have another fight that I don't need to win, and we use Genie because it he's not going to do anything for enough time so that we can just take the take the L and and move on. There we go. Um this upcoming fight I do take a hit intentionally to go into EXP boost, which which means if I'm below half health I gain double EXP if Sora kills an enemy specifically. Uh so we take a hit intentionally so do not be alarmed by the alarm sound. That was really fast. So I go into Dance Call, which is a great limit to... Pull those guys in. And there we go. That was really good. I needed to see that level 18 there with the really important strength increase. That could have been a gold for me. A lot of streamers or runners of this game use splits only for each entire world. I don't know why, but I've always had... Well, ever since I started, I just did like almost micro splits like one for every fight that might have been a gold for that split okay so we have this next fight which is like the this game's version of lock shock barrel uh but it's a heartless boss called prison keeper because he uses different uh you know each of them differently as a like attack pattern yeah <laughs> I, I guess i am yeah all right, let's see. He gave me barrel, which is what we want. That's good. I'm going to reflect Blizzard into this finishing leap. Do it a full combo and do the same thing again. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why he didn't retaliate there, but it's good. So he's pushing to his next phase now. And I now use dance call to effectively skip a phase. So at around 3.4 bars, he's going to be going into a different uh, user. He chose Shock, which I don't like. Going Valor here. Excuse me. Okay. That wasn't the fastest. So I'm gonna... He's in the final phase now. I'm going to knock him out of this. Do another one-hit combo. And do a full combo here. He's going to retaliate. I'm going to reflect into Trinity. See if I can sneak in. Oh, an extra combo. This is going to be close. I think I got it. And finish the fight way up there. That was all right. Exactly. Yep. So going Valor there, I could have gone anti if I didn't, if Donald didn't die in the previous fight. That was a, for my standards, that was a good fight. Uh, we got Oogie now, and I'm going to try a strat called Present Skip. We also can warp to him, which saves a good bit of time. Also, you see how my drive is almost at two bars? I'm going to need to get that up to three, which will not be a problem. Just means I have to go about it with some thunders. He's not 
vulnerable while he's up there, but you can hit him with thunders to increase your drive, which is what we need to do. I'm going to take that hit intentionally to increase some drive. It takes 12 of these presents to knock him down, knock him out here. Okay, good. He's gonna come down. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Good. See, I'm at three drive knocks. I'm gonna need Chicken Little in a minute. Jack did some, some help there as well. So, he's gonna call some enemies in in these little present bags in a minute, which is rough. He would do that again if no enemies are spawned in a minute. So I'm gonna knock these three in back at him, go into Chicken Little's limit, now I'm gonna pu pull him back, change my party a little bit, I think I got it, yes, so he didn't call him, that's saving a good 10 seconds or so. Oh, that's right, I'm good there. I'm glad that I got that. That's, that's pretty new for me. So like, he would have said, you know, like, hope you like the boogie gifts. Like that, he wanted to do that again if those enemies weren't there. So that was a way of making sure they weren't there. Okay. So now he has these lightning bolts. And I'm gonna be avoiding them. With the exception of, like, if they're right on top of the present and I use the RC, it gives me invul invulnerability frames. It, uh, takes- he moves after four presents now. Oh! Uh, that was close. That- that punching bag is a one- one-shot kill. Please stay middle. He can go to the middle or to the right. Frick. This fight's looking good. Oh, got some good patterns there. Didn't need to potion, but I did. Uh oh. I went a little bit slow there. Okay. Okay, that's a sigh of relief. I died there in my in the first time I um, in the first iteration of Arm with Her Speed, and that's like numerous minutes lost because that's a pretty pretty long fight. I can tell my nerves are increasing, so I'm gonna try to maintain my composure. Sorry if I'm seeming a bit antsy because I am. I got a problem with nerves. Uh, we got to go back to Twilight Town now. Uh, we got the Magnet Spell, which is really important, so I'm going to customize that. We're going to use Genie for this. There are different ways people use Genie for this fight. He has a different form for each drive form that you have. Some people typically, as far as I'm aware, use Wisdom Genie. I use Valor Genie. So I'm going to bait out an attack from these Dusk. They're going to attack. I'm going to reflect into Magnet and then use Genie's Limit. I needed to need to get this guy. There we go. Last phase. Look at these guys. Oh, they almost died there. So, I didn't talk too much during that, but that's a really fun strat. So, we have Magnet, and we also have Trinity Limit. Trinity doesn't normally deal damage uh, for the hits that you deal to enemies. But what Magnet does is it does damage every time an enemy is sucked into the Magnet. So we had three Berserkers there that have a huge amount of health. And what we did 
was we did a magnet then used Trinity in such a way that it knocks them out of the magnet and then the magnet sucks them back in so it does so much damage so fast. If you position it correctly, you don't have to do the Trinity finisher, but I was a little bit off. It's a it's an orgasm if it goes well. A meat grinder. <laughs> I haven't heard of it as a meat grinder, that's a great term for it. Uh, am I in the drive? Yes, I am. Okay. We got our boy Cloud here. Everyone say hi, Cloud. Everyone say bye, Cloud. We're going to Space Paranoids, which is a world within Hollow Bastion. Yeah, I had some issue with the second phase, but the final was good enough. Get up there. There we go. That's a little time save there, just using Reflect so you don't have to do a... Uh, you don't have to ledge grab. Sorry. I can't... <laughs> I can't speak. I don't know what words are. Going back to the skateboard, because that's nicer. You'll get him. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate those of the community being here. Because I gave, I gave them like a one hour notes like, hey, I'm going to be running this in an hour. Also, it just... For those of you unaware in the community, my Discord username is different than my Twitch username because for the school clubs that I sponsor, if they have a Discord, then I have to be a part of it as their teacher. And I don't want them finding my stream. That's like a big no-no. So I had to change my Discord username, which is like just ah, annoying. All right. There are two really important fights in, in uh, this world. Whoops. Uh, we're going to do the main EXP grind in a, uh, maybe, maybe like five minutes. This fight here is pretty easy. Um, we have to find the right box and it's easy to find. It's right there. It's going to spin around like two two and a quarter times or so then I just use a valor explo a wisdom explosion on it to uh, go to the next fight uh, I would have if my my school district blocks blocks discord so I can't make one with my account like I definitely would have but that's like that's a annoying thing that I've tried to work work through but I'm not able to thanks Matt you're absolutely right so if I could then I would do that all right let's I really don't want to die here come on Okay, good. So if I take two hits here, then I die. Um, that was a quasi auto scroller. I got had to kill five enemies. Now here's the auto scroller with two little boosts. that one a little bit so if you like hit the guy with the shield then uh, then in an area where you need to turn you can like bounce off him the one option where you have where you can go right or left you want to go left because that it I guess is faster here's the what the recall voice that I was talking about there we go okay let's not die Good. Okay, good. I 
I'll have to try that. It's... When I tried making one with my district account, it said, like, this domain is blocked as an email. So I might have to try again. It's just so thoroughly irksome. Anyways. So, so, something we can talk about another time. Um, Alright, we're going to use Stitch here. We're taking this big hit on purpose. Now that I'm below half health, I'm taking double EXP. I'm going to go from level 18 or 19 to level 23 in this fight. Rant oh. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have enough. That was the problem, okay. Okay. So now all these enemies are spawning, and I'm just gonna do Magnet, Finishing Leap, Aerial Spiral, sometimes with Reflex. And Stitch needs just to heal my MP. He didn't there and I messed up. So I have no ethers now. Stitch. Thank you, Stitch. That was close. Stitch, please. Oh, we're good. All right, seeing a third, like a low 30s is not that fast, but it's okay. Doesn't deserve to be in the run. Yeah, and I used two ethers there, which is problematic. Well, they're still somewhat routed. All right, now we have one of one of my favorite fights in hostile program. I'm gonna grab this armor here pretty quick. It only saves like a good like seven or eight seconds if you don't get it, but it has some good mileage. All right, let's see how I can commentate this. All right, so I'm gonna go into Comet and do a full combo on him. I'm gonna do an aerial spiral. He's gonna push himself against the wall because of my positioning relative to him. And then I get some orbs and freeze him. That's the gimmick of this fight. Go into limit form, which is his new form. Do two combos, which do a lot of damage, and then go into this. Already in the last phase, just had to get some orbs. There we go. I'm seeing a 155. I'm easily like at least a minute behind. It doesn't deserve to be in this run. Uh, don't other categories just use like genie and stuff there? Okay, here's a big gauntlet of fights. If I die to later on, then I'm losing a hand for like a good bit of time. To you right here that I have drive like one and a half, I need to get that back up to three to use Chicken Little. The way we do that with these enemies is to Magnet and Goofy needs to use his Tornado and that needs to really get them. There we go. There we go. Needed the ether there because of the, uh... Oh, that was fast. Yeah, yeah, level one, definitely. Well, I know that level one doesn't need the EXP grind, of course. That was a 
I wanted to see, compare that fight to my gold. That was really fast. Okay, here, if the dancers grab me, then I'm dead. Uh, so this is really, this fight can, can kill me really quickly. I'm gonna use Chicken Little. I'm gonna kill this wave. It's gonna call in these guys, thank you. Last phase already. Please die. Oh, they were so close to dying. So if I damaged the last phase properly, I wouldn't have needed to use the Trinity Finisher. All right, we got Demi Lovato again. I think you have shown me that. Dance, water, dance. All right, I need to get to around 30 or to 35 clones remaining. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I need to take a death. I messed up. Oh well. I need that I need to see five or fewer clones. before I do the Trinity Finisher. Okay, this is good. Good. All right, so all those uh, Trinity hits hit the clones, but I'm gonna have the damage be done to Demix. Go into limit form. Gonna do a combo into ours. But skip one. Skip one RC, do one more combo, revert and reflect, go into Comet. This is gonna be close. And there we go. That was really close. Okay, I need to keep my composure, this is really tough. Um, I'm not gonna commentate this, because I don't want to die. Um... Yes. Unfortunately, I'm feeling a lot of nerves, so I'm not going to commentate. I apologize. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. So this guy spawns, so I'm in limit form and I need to get rid of him. Uh oh. Okay. Exactly. Good. Good. Okay, if I die here, it's a really big problem. If I die, I have to go back to Demix. Okay, we're in the clear, I think. Okay. Okay. That was really close. Whoops. 
If I died any and at any point during those fights, I needed to fight Demix and do all of them again. All right, here's the worst fight in the game. Come on, Tars. Where is a rapid thruster? The fuck is this? Thank you. I need one of those guys. So we got a thousand heartless, but they're not all loaded at once. I can usually get 60 enemies during one of these reaction commands. This is what I want. I just want to see this the entire time. And usually I keep the camera pointed or like the bar pointed at the camera. So like more enemies spawn in. Yep, okay, I'm getting some okay patterns. Okay. Uh-oh. That was so close. Oh my god. Okay. I died there in my PB very early. I guess sometimes help. Just so you can see my. This is, these are the kind of nerves I have to deal with. I, like this run isn't even good. <laughs> Please don't do that. I, I wish I wouldn't have to. Riku, you. Just this feeling. Of... <laughs> hey, what if the heart? But Sora, I. Okay, we're gonna. So we have a second visit to a, a number of worlds. Uh, we're gonna go to Beast Castle, but not beat the entire thing first. We go into that room so we can save warp to it. We have one fight here where we kind of, I kind of YOLO it. Let's see if it works well. Looks good to me. Very, I think that's good. Very good. Just one wave, so we just do a Magnet Trinity. Okay. Now, there's a nice prize Heartless in this game called a Hulky Vendor. That could appear in this room and a handful of other specific rooms. And the way- and we want a couple of them uh, for EXP. And you see me re-entering that room. So I entered that room a total of three times. That, for reasons that I don't know why, it just sets a, a flag, a variable in the game, so that in the other rooms where they can spawn, they're gonna spawn now. And they give like 2,000 EXP or something like that. Um, there we go. Okay, so we equip the Rumbling Rose Keyblade there which gives us more strength and an extra finisher. We got some fun- now we're going to Port Royal, we got some fun fights coming up. Apologies for my nerves. Um, as usual, pirates are susceptible to magic, so here, now that we have three finishers, we're using all three of them. Yeah. All right, I hope this fight goes well. Whoa! You know how there was a, there like pre-fights before when we travel? They are not worth it right now to uh, 
to complete, we can just skip them. We only do them if for the ones that are worth it. Yeah. All right, so there's a Grim Reaper fight here, and we're going to fight him twice, and these are my two favorite fights of the run. <laughs> I'm going to do a combo, a very specific combo here. I want him to hit me back. He's not. I'm gonna go into Comet. Excuse me. This is not good. I'm gonna take a, f a little bit of time loss. There we go. I'm going to go into master form. All that happened there is like my Comet RC didn't come out, which changed the fight. There we go. So you see how I'm still in master form? I'm going to be reverted from it by because of the room I'm in. But that's going to give me the drive, my drive back, which is nice. We get this ability, horizontal slash from that fight, and we put it on immediately because it's that useful. We don't usually do like menus of one thing, but this one is necessary. Ow. Thank you, Scoom. Okay, so th we have some gamblers to kill. And we're gonna use... Oh, that wasn't that great. We're gonna use a combination of Genie's... of Magnet and Genie's Limits to kill them. I guess like they are holding the medallion, then we gotta get the medallions back. Even though this is one of my favorite worlds, it's this is like the one boring thing about it. So we gotta get um three more. Yeah. Whoops. Get I'm bad. This gambler here. Uh oh. Okay. That was a bit slow. I don't want him to go up in the air. I thought he wasn't doing that. This gambler's always behind here. I'm doing magnet. Two finishers and going to Genie's Limit. Very good. Gotta make sure to get the medallions afterwards. Uh, we don't get the gambler in this room because like he comes after you uh, kill the enemies. That's slow. The last one is right here. Oh, this is slow. Get up there! Thank you. Alright, I want to get this fight really well again. Uh, we're fighting the Grim Reaper again, but the gimmick is all the medallions got to be in the chest in order for him to take damage. So there are three different times we got to collect medallions. So I gotta grab these. He's holding some, so I gotta do two thunders to get, a, get them from him. He's gonna attack, so I gotta reflect. I collect these here, put them in, and then I'm gonna go into Genie and do this buffer strat. That has never happened to me where each, I've just been... This is not looking good. Okay, he's up there. I'm gonna thunder him twice. Donald. Final phase, he has all the medallions, and we use Master Form and just Thunder him to get them all back. And it does a nice little dance around him, because it does four thunders every time I cast it. So all the medallions are now back. I gotta collect them. And I'm using Comet here so he doesn't teleport. 
I didn't make that clear. Okay, that fight was okay. Not great. He didn't teleport, except during the genie stuff, which has never happened for me. It was just because I was pushed up a little bit. And that gives us the most important, or probably the best, not, I don't want to say the most important, but the best uh, limit that we're going to be using in Duck Flare. Uh, we gotta do that, and we gotta go there. Okay. So now all of my party members are set to a pattern where they're not gonna attack anyone else, because, like, if they attack anyone else at this point, they just get in the way. Um, and I equip Duck Flare. All you do here is Magnet Trinity, these goons. Then you gotta put them in boxes. Up. Oh. NA aim. <laughs> okay, so now those bulky vendors that I was talking about, this is where two of them are. So I, I do this. Reaction command here to spawn them. And I'm using Stitch because this guy's gonna hit me and send me into EXP boost range. So now I. And he's gonna like save me from that guy. I'm at level 28 with 31 to go. I think I'm. I forget where that puts me on. on track for level 30. So there's one more EXP threshold I have to get to. Uh, this fight here, I'm gonna, I just gotta kill these enemies here and pick up the, their presence. We'll just reflect into Jack's dance call and do two RCs. <laughs> I did if that enemy picked up the present, that would have been a problem. All right, if we have bless emotes, give me them now, please. All of them, because we have the dumbest mini game where we put Present, put presents into their, we wrap up presents with a cannon and different boxes. I got to get a hundred and different boxes count for different amounts. That's nice. And of course, the, these guys get in the way. This is not the best RNG. Oh goodness, give me boxes, please. Oh boy. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Ugh. Not not the worst I've seen though. Whoops. Now we fight the experiment, the last fight in this in this world. We're gonna use duck flare three times. So I use an RC in the middle and go into the Duck Flare finisher and it scales up my aerial spiral damage. I'm gonna summon Stitch, see if he'll save my MP. Whoa! Stitch, are you gonna help me? Stitch, you're of no help. Go into Duck Flare again. I want to go into it one more time, so I'm using two ethers. I'm going to reflect his retaliation. Uh, he was invincible there for a moment. Okay, boom. Three duck flares and he's done. I, I'm, I'm oversimplifying that, though. That fight could be a bit more difficult. And now we got the best Keyblade in uh, Decisive Pumpkin. Let's change hats again. Let's look pretty pretentious. That's right. 
Um, we're gonna do that. I don't know where I am on EXP, so I'm gonna get this bulky vendor real quick. Oh, we're good on EXP. Didn't need that. So, the really important thing is that I get to level 30 before I fight Jafar. That's a very important strength increase. Uh, this... I'm of, of a... I'm alone when I say, like, I really don't like this world. I find it really difficult because I just hate this carpet movement. Um, we're keeping Rumbling Rose on. I'm gonna go to the barrier here. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. That was slow. Now we gotta chase Jafar. He has a set pattern. That fight was really slow. Like, it started getting bad when uh, all of the rapid thrusters were not caught in the first magnet. I'm not gonna use an ether because, uh, I'm gonna get an MP refill right at the end of this. Hi, Clove. So there, we gotta use a finisher, so we just thunder him, and we, we get our MP back. Okay, so these guys, there's some rapid thrusters here. I'm gonna approach them, do a magnet, guard break, and a finishing leap. Magnet those guys together, that's good. Am I out of ethers? I am out of ethers. This is a problem. This is a big problem. I just gotta go to these three switches. I think I'm gonna buy ethers before I... There we go. I'm gonna buy ethers before I get to Jafar. Get up there, come on. There's no cutscene there, we're going here. Um, and then we have an auto-scroller of a fight. I'm gonna stretch my legs a little bit. Um, we would route something around EXP boost if that was an option here. Apparently, these the game uh, sees these enemies being killed by the colli their collision against the terrain, and not by Sora, which does so. It does not double their EXP if we are in low health. Which is unfortunate, because, like, we get, like, a good five or six thousand EXP here. Getting that fat bandit there by, by delaying the hit a little bit. Yeah, probably didn't need the bulky vendor. Not a big deal, though. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. I love just one swipe kills all three. How's everyone doing?
Gotta avoid these sand dunes. I've never, I haven't seen the dune movies. What do we think about that, folks? Tell me that. Um, save warping to save some time. I'm gonna buy ethers here, which is not ha whoa how you typically go about things. Um, you also need to also need to change my keyblades. Even though Decisive Company only has one more strength than Rumbling Rose, it makes it makes a noticeable difference in how much damage you do against Jafar at the threshold. Yeah, and those are weird uh, attacks. I, I don't like that. Uh, but we're going to be using the carpet slide dash to our advantage here. Nice. So notice how if I... The carpet slide dash does so much damage. I can use the RC, but I'm not going to. Until, like, I do some damage first. So it's just free damage. So now he's... Vulnerable. I'm gonna do three combos, making sure I do that carpet slide dash at each time. Reflect that attempt to grab me. This is going good. I did a blizzard there because that was an HP gate. Good, that was close. And that's going to do it. All right. So you have two worlds. Two, like, you know, side worlds left before we begin what I call, like, the larger endgame sequence. I don't know when the, like, what the threshold, the dividing line is typically considered as between, like, l the start of late game or end game. Except for, like, when you start final fights, of course. Uh, we're going back to Beast Castle now. We got two fights here. Yeah, Carpet... You saw how many hits Carpet Slide Dash did and how much each hit did. Um, alright, these guys here... Oh, they're not giving me the pattern I like. Okay. Bang. That was that's a, that was a finisherless magnet trinity. Okay, we got Zaldin, which is casually a really tough fight. I wish I could mash harder. Like the way seeing the way people can mash, it's like man, I'm slow. So these jump reaction commands, I need to get all nine of. Okay, whatever. That's a nerve death. I could have gotten Mickey there, but I don't want to. Yep. This is just one property about myself I don't like. Okay. Getting all nine. Gonna do all nine of these jumps, then I'm gonna do a duck flare. And that's it. He didn't really even get to attack. Yeah, we probably didn't talk about that too much. You know, that's just the nature of my commentary. It's so scattered. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the free abilities that we got for having for being on critical mode that I equipped all at once in the beginning of the game. Like some of them are draw, some of them are having an extra finisher, which is nice. Um, this fight against Riku is really annoying because he doesn't really he doesn't stagger or get stunned 
or like you know react to any of your hits. See, like he's not moving or anything. So I did a combo there into reflect, and then I trinitied that. Please. Okay, good. Wanted to do that. That was a good fight. <laughs> if you don't know, uh, the basic ground combo finisher in limit form is called Zantetsuken, and it's really strong. Do some fire there to avoid the avoid the ledge dash. And speaking of Magnet Trinity. Oh, there's a bulky vendor here that we don't need anymore. Speaking of Magnet Trinity, you're gonna see how much damage it's gonna do. In this fight, with all of these enemies, I'm just gonna Magnet Trinity and that's it. And unless my camera positioning was bad, they're all gonna die. <laughs> light show. I, I should have said, like, epilepsy warning. I apologize. It's not something that, that occurs to me to, to, to tell you. I summon Chicken Little here for this fight with the snipers. You don't need to, but it helps me a little bit. That would have gone a lot better if I got that fire off, which I was trying to do. Okay, now we got Storm Rider, which is a tough fight. We're on top of him, we use Duck Flare and... So I'm gonna do these two hits before I have to use this reaction command to stay on him. I'm gonna get off and position myself before I use Duck Flare. I'm gonna do a combo here. Okay, I'm really close to, to being on, at the right damage. I'm gonna summon Stitch. He needs to heal me. Stitch, you got one fucking job. Please do it. I'm low on ether, Stitch. Please do this. Stitch, you had one job. This is- okay, I don't think I'm gonna kill him, this is a problem. Fuck. And I kill him in anti-form. <laughs> that would've been funny if I did. Now uh, let's do this. This is a spaghetti overrun. I want to die, please. There we go. Oh, he's gonna go over here again. Swag fill, finish, swag kill. Oh, never mind. So I knew I, knew I had a chance of going into anti form there. If you do enough damage earlier in the fight, then you kill him before he goes into the middle there. Uh, if Stitch healed my MP, I would have gotten a few uh, magnets done on him. Which would have done that. I lost a good bit of time there. And just Antiform just didn't fucking kill him. And there's something funny about Look, it's another. I don't know what's going on, fellas. Took the one time like I needed Mickey to die quickly and he wouldn't. I think that was better than doing the entire fight again though. 
Okay, we're on the last coming mission, and this one, like, is tough if you... I mean, it's not tough, but, like, you can't take it lightly. Um, definitely not getting sub-3. Um, but you know what fight's coming up, right? Okay, so I need one ether for Roxas, one for Axel, two for Syx. This is a problem, folks. <laughs> oh, you're getting, uh, Thunder and lightning in your area. That's rough. Let's change hats. This is a Nick V hat. Oh, it's Nick V. I was considering that. Are there some in the- there's some in the mansion, right? Aren't there four in the mansion? In that one room, Iba? I might do that. And then I'll have to equip, uh... Jackpot. So you see how, like, I can take a lot of damage here. And there's a lot of enemies, so, like, you want to be... You want to not take this battle lightly. There we go. With the best of intentions, I only had room for one song. My nerves are not having it. And that's something I'm not sure why I haven't been able to get better when it comes to nerds. So we have two fights with nobodies before we reach the world that never was. Which is a huge boss rush. Let me see, how much money do I- 159, I'm gonna... And let me see real quick. Ethers, I only have one ether in reserve. We're buying- we're gonna go to, um... The... We're gonna go get some more ethers. Okay, I'm gonna need to summon Genie here in a way that I that I won't get sniped. So right there, that bullet goes through me. Yep, thankfully it's all in the way. I didn't consider that. Thank you, so thank you, Iba and Majora. All right, so here I'm gonna be using Magnet and Genie's Master Limit to really mess these guys up. 
And what's nice is that using them in a magnet, it refills the summon gauge. Yeah, he just got burned really, really badly. Okay, let's equip. Um, wishing lamp. I had no ethers left in Agrabah 2. That should be good enough. At the end of LLD two, I had something like that. I don't. I didn't count, but like, that definitely gives me enough, so I have a nice buffer. I should. Change my Keyblade back. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Zoin. So here, I just Magnet Reflect. Or Reflect into Magnet. And then do a Magnet Trinity. Okay, this fight with Axel is such a pain in the butt. I need to learn the Thunderstruck strat, which I don't know. So I just keep ma reflecting into Magnet now, but see, there's two, two of these assassins that got at, got away. He, that that could have went wrong. So the primary goal there was to keep keep all the enemies together and I had trouble with that. All right, Marathon, are you ready for this? Yeah. Where's Marathon? I need to know if he's ready for this. You know what I'm about to do? Two more limit throw? Okay, I didn't think about that. Uh, I, I'm gonna do ro this fight blindfolded. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I took a death. Didn't get the ether off. Who cares? We're supposed to ether there. I was hoping to get that first try, it's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm glad I got a second try. Data rocks is blindfolded. Holy fuck. So there's you don't need to like actually move with the analog stick too much. That's why you can do it blindfolded. I'm glad I got to show that off again. The only issue with the first one was that I didn't um get the ether off. I tr I've tried learning that. The issue is like when, after you go, after you do infinity, like just dodging away and knowing where you are is tough to do. That's the only part. So I'm I'm getting anti form here, um, intentionally, to lower my anti form chances. Thank you, Zoim, for telling me that strat with the magnet. Trinity Square. I got final form. Fuck this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, we're plenty good on ethers now. Um. Uh, there. Yeah. Well, what's the chances of getting final form there? That oh, this is gonna this is gonna make my end game really difficult. Here we go with Ziggy. So now I go into Duck Flare. Gonna do this again. I need him to be around three bars. I like that pattern. I think we're in there. There we go. 10%, okay. I gotta be careful with my menus now. So if you're better at the game than me, then you can use that Final Form Genie. Use fi uh, Final Form Genie and just Final Form itself to your advantage. I haven't really learned that. Uh, if I have some good coaching or like if there's a good video on it, then I would learn that. That's like a 2017 strat. Um, we're going there, we're going to Sites of Pumpkin, then we're going here to Oblivion. Where? Excuse me? There it is. Messed up that menu. All right. Uh, three more bosses until we start the endgame sequence, and this is a really tough one. I don't- I do not like this fight at all. Okay, I want to see him doing this minigame all the time. Not that. Okay, he's gonna go away now. This is what we don't want. Thank you. Oh, okay. 
see how much time, like, each time this happens, see how much time that loses. No! Okay. I meant to... I meant to reflect, I did the wrong spell. I'm just gonna take the DM. Yeah, that I know. If you can talk to me about that, about avoiding getting a uh, five drive, then I. Then I'll then I'd happily do that. All right. So there's a way to skip that DM, but it doesn't save too much time, and also, like, if I mess it up, then I lose all my drive, and I don't want that to happen. Alright. I'm gonna try to commentate this next fight, because it's... Uh, big shoutouts to Zoim in chat, because Zoim taught me this strat, and it's one of my favorites. You feel it, the moon's power. Moon, shine down. So I'm gonna guard him. I, I gotta get him out of this berserk phase. I'm gonna run towards him, do a duck flare, do a combo. He's gonna land, and that's when I'm going to my mega duck flare. Do five of these aerial spirals. Do a combo. Knock him up. Go into limit form. He's gonna attack. I'm gonna guard and go into Zantetsuken. Do duck flare again. Do th two ethers. And go in for the kill. Very good. So the only way that could have gone faster if I is I, if I reflected him after uh, going into after le reverting from limit form. All right, this is the last menu of the game. We got our boy Riku now. We just take his ethers, put potions on him. So, a really interesting mechanic is coming up in this fight. Where, if I were to mash, like, to chain reflects together, it doesn't do the reflect damage, except for the very last one. However, if I do an attack in between reflects, so they are not chained, they're like kind of sandwiched. I can do the splash damage multiple times. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here against Xemnas 1. Reflect, hit, hit him, and reflect. So I do double the reflect damage. And his, his health bar is gonna be going, uh, going down really quickly. There are three reaction commands to do here. I wanna do the last one because that gives me the, It does the most damage. And th oh, this is also an unavoidable sequence. There is a faster strat, but I, that's just the one I'm doing. I'm gonna knock him down here, run towards him. Uh-oh. So he wants to do this building attack again. I don't want him to do that, so I'm going into Trinity here. And going into the limit. There we go. Okay, and I know like Slick does, had it, there's a strat that uses um, Master Form. 
Um, I feel like learning different strats for Psyx is pretty difficult. <laughs> Alright, we're going into the end game here. I need to make sure I don't screw up my genie menu. if I do then then there's a problem and I have an elixir which I'm going to use against um, the first armored Xemnas <laughs> taking Riku out of the party and making sure I'm on master form these guys just take a single hit to send them. You have to like deplete this thing's energy. So we do three magnets and then just once the next one spawns, we just hit them. Even though we can gain an EXP here, it doesn't really make a difference until I think level 39, which we're not going to reach. Uh, feel free to double check me on that or correct me on that Zoim. Okay, so here We just use the master form magnet, because that's all we need to do. Thirty-eight, okay. Okay, this is a really important fight. I'm gonna magnet this core to push it into spawning enemies. As soon as Donald and Goofy get back, I'm gonna do a magnet trinity. That kills all of these guys. I'm gonna bring Genie in. Grab these MP orbs. I want to be careful with my ethers. Okay, I got it. So these guys here, I'm going to use a Magnet Trinity on them. And if, I, if this is done correctly, it's going to do a lot of damage to the core. Going to go in, go into Valor form. Nope. Then go into Duck Flare. Went, went into Valor just for the um, the MP refill. I'm going to use, be using my um, elixir here. See, I, I'm in Duck Flare. Donald almost died there, so I had to go into it quickly. There we go. That was close. I usually reflect that that um, barrier, but that would have killed Donald, which would have saved, which would have lost time. I haven't yet gotten that strat in a in a run without dying first, so I can easily gold so much. Um, we're fighting Blue Eyes White Dragon now, and we are Buster Blader. Oh, it's all good, James. We sh I'm sure we'll post a VOD somewhere. This run is unfortunately not a, not faster than my uh, previous Armor Thur Speed run, but Armor Thur Speed Showcase. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself so far, though. We got this fight and two more. You can tell this is a loaded ca a loaded game to run a loaded category, so you I hope you have... I hope my passion for it, even though I'm not a top tier runner, I hope my passion has been visible. Dude, it's 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 more than just a pleasure. When it's a hundred percent showcase, as soon as I get a good PB in the in crit.
Are we talking about a baseball game, Iva? Oh, hockey, okay. So this fight is routed out. There are ways of going faster. That's more difficult for me, like... Uh-oh. So it's like, see, you can chain your finishers, but that makes it more difficult for me, so I don't do that. That's what I thought, that's why I wasn't sure. I'll just use my lasers. So the snowflake lasers are gonna come back in a minute. There we go. I just got one more. <laughs> oh, I don't have the... Shit. I didn't have my laser yet. Okay. Glad we got that fixed. <laughs> yeah, we all lose to Zoim. And we'd all lose inside, too. So it's about right now when I would have beat Final Xemnas and had started the ending sequence in my PB. This fight here, we know when he's going to retaliate so we can uh, make a strat accordingly. He's going to retaliate right now, so I reflect into a thing. He's going to do that barrier, so I reflect two separate times with the gap in between them uh, to do that. Uh, then he knocks us away, that's a HP gate. Uh, there's gonna be a building that's gonna spawn right here. I didn't want to get hurt, though. So if those buildings hit you, those spinning ones, you, you're dead. Let's see, what is he doing? Okay, it's hard to tell where he's gonna be. Wait when you land. He knocks us away again. I'm gonna try this skip here. I'm gonna be trying to avoid these lasers by continually air dodging above them. I'm gonna go to the right here. There's gonna be a wind uh, building up here. And there, that saves like a good, what, five or so seconds. So now, this is the final phase, and... Xemnas reacts or retaliates after fewer hits, so I gotta be really careful. There we go. Arm <laughs> with their caps lock. Alright, one fight to go. I'm glad Final Form didn't screw, screw up my menus. All right, so he's going to try to grab me. I reflect, and I'm going to do these. He has a clone here. I, I want to reflect him, not his clone. Except right there where I can time it specifically. Okay. I'm going to... He's going to come down now. I'm going to reflect and, and go into Riku's limit. I want to see Xemnas at four bars of health after this. Nothingness is a turtle. Okay, so I have to do maybe another combo on him. Okay, he, so I went into the limit form there. Okay, back into it. And that's it. That's it. it. So in my previous run of this, this went really badly, this fight, and that was a perfect fight. So we have this dome attack, and then there's a cutscene, and then we're, and then we're done.
This might be faster than my previous arm with their speed run. This might be faster. And thank you for the GG's, everybody. I'm going to hop on Discord uh, in just a minute. Um, is this going to be a 302? I think it is. Thanks for the GG's, and thanks for uh, the community showing up. Uh, I really appreciate that. I was there, Mom. Riku. Like a 302 for me is good. GG's, dude. Thank you. Let me stop the timer. 302.40. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be a lot slower than that. That's about a minute faster than my previous one a couple years ago. I was going to say, I, I, I want to say last yeah. one was 303. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should I mute OBS audio so there's no double talking? We did it! Um, I don't think, I think there will be double. I don't think there is double. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is, just so you know, folks, the basic any percent category on the hardest difficulty, but there are a handful of other difficulties, and we also have a very friendly and welcoming and active community, not only pushing the envelope, uh, I can't. Uh, don't but say another word. really helpful to new it's not, and uh, it's just not. new and uh, improving runners. So there's a Discord for that. Uh, so many guides. You can find so yeah. many guides for this, for any of these games. So many guides and so many categories as well. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys oh, maybe on, learned Ricky. something if you, you uh, about this game, this and hopefully you got an idea of how cool of a community we have. Uh, I'm a only minor part of it now, uh, ever since I started so, my career. Hmm? Um, we got some great uh, turnout from, from them, which I really appreciate, especially on such short notice. Um, uh, I wanted to thank you guys for including me again. I was so I was excited I was uh, when you stuff. said that you'd have me. Like, I'm... Really? I mean, I was ecstatic that another thing was going to be no. taking place. You know, I of course, uh, of course, we knew we knew we had to have a Kingdom Hearts, Hearts game. Uh, yeah, we had to have a Kingdom Hearts game each day. You know, oh, oh fuck, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say more. I'm not gonna say more. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, -oh. Uh, what? What? I know, I heard me. Um, but it was really cool. It was really cool to see uh, fragmentary passage yesterday and two today, and it, it was just a, it was a good time. It is a good time, and I feel like this. Yep. The run, this run never gets old, because uh, someone really does. Run. Yeah. Um, By the way, I did check the tapes. I can walk. Three oh three fifty five was your last. Time. Oh man, so we beat. Oh by a shit, it's a so over a minute. Nice. That's good, and like, given that you're just like, let's see, I had a death to the Roxas fight. I storm. I think that was your only. Oh yeah, you have one death to storm well, right here. That was it, right? Maybe um, I had no, I had a death to Demix, but that was early. Then I had two spaghetti Riku. deaths in uh, Agrabah. Okay. And, oh yeah, and then, then, and then it's boat, uh, boat fight, boat fight. That was that was probably the most costly, the boat fight death. Perfect for me. Um, if but this is what the uh, if you guys is, enjoyed this, uh, feel free to follow me. My name is on the on the screen. I usually stream on weekends, and I'd love to have you. And thank you guys for having me. Who's such a pleasure. Definitely. First, my dude. World yeah. Is made of love all right. And uh, with that, um, with that, I will see you all, and I'll I'll be hanging around. Yes. Enjoy the marathon, folks.